Hi DIYers, Sterling from Alarm Grid here and today we're going to show you how to set your house ID code. The house ID code is a special programming feature that is used for all bi-directional devices. So most wireless Honeywell sensors, all they do is they send a signal from the sensor, door sensor, motion, glass break, whatever it may be, sends a signal to the panel. That would be one-way traffic from the sensor to the panel. Bi-directional devices can actually not only send a signal to the panel, but they can also request status back from the panel. For instance, a uh, wireless keypad that would be able to find out if there's any faults or if the system is armed or disarmed. Same idea uh, would be a 5804BD, that's a bi-directional key fob, which can provide system status. Uh, another popular uh, sensor that uses a house ID would be the 5800 Wave, which is the wireless siren, because that siren has an LED that can tell you if the system is armed or disarmed. So any device that needs to be able to request status back from the panel uses a RF house code. The code is a special code learned for the panel. It's anywhere from a 01 to a 31, uh, so it's just a two-digit code. And what it does is it ties that bi-directional device to this particular panel in case your neighbor has a similar Honeywell system. It's not going to be requesting status from them. So it's a way to lock your bi-directional devices into your system. So we're going to show you how to do it. It's done through the installer or programming section. If we hit more, tools, enter our installer code, which we have set to default 4112. You're going to hit program. And then at the top right, we have system type. And you can see it's RF house code. So you'll see in the Honeywell installation guides, it's sometimes called a RF house code, sometimes it's called a house ID code. Um, so there's a couple different names, but it's all the same code. And you'll see for the 5828 keypad, the 5828V keypad, the 5800 Wave Siren, uh, the 5804 BD key fob, all of those sensors will talk about uh, setting your house ID code. Toggle in. And again, it's a two-digit code. You're going to want to clear out the default zero. And then you can set it to any two-digit number. Uh, we're going to choose simple 10, one, zero. Make sure to hit done or it will not accept our entry. And then also make sure to save it because if you simply back out and then go back in, you'll see there is no house code. It did not take. So again, one, oh, and clear. One, zero, done, save back out to the home screen. Make sure when you're exiting programming that you always allow installer to re-enter. We'll show you in another video what happens if you don't. And if you go back to your home screen, your system is now set and ready to provide status to any wireless bi-directional device. If you have any questions on how to set or use your house ID code, please leave us a comment in the section below. And make sure to subscribe to our channel.